What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a newly updated tweak called App Locker. Now what App Locker allows you to do is lock specific apps so only you can get in there. Now since we have an iPhone 5S, that means that we are able to use the Touch ID sensor for this tweak. Therefore we do not have to type in the password every time, all we have to do is scan our saved fingerprints that are saved in the Touch ID. So if we jump into the settings here, we'll see obviously once you get into the settings, I was actually already in the app locker settings and it prompts you to type in your password. Now you can't actually use your uh, touch ID finger to unlock the settings. You do have to type in your password. So you can see here these are the settings. You obviously have a kill switch right here. Up here at the top is general and here is session locking which you can see down here is once something gets unlocked, everything is unlocked and relocks only after you lock the device. Also the numeric keypad right here is basically just like instead of the alpha keyboard you get the numeric keyboard. Also on here lock device on fail so if you fail then it's going to lock the device and the auto launch feature is just if you type in the password it automatically launches without you having to tap proceed. Now here is where you type in your password so make sure you type in a password for this to work and back here we have application locking. Let's go back so this is where you're going to set your applications that you want to lock. So if you go right here, you can see that I have locked barrel, calculator, calendar, and the camera. But obviously you can do any of the applications that you have on your device. And you can also, here's a little switch right here, that you can invert the selection. So if I tap that, so now at this point, barrel, calculator, calendar, and camera are actually unlocked and everything else is locked. So we don't really want to do that because we don't want all our devices locked. You also have an advanced tab down here so you can see don't lock launching apps from the springboard, multitask switcher, your notification banners, or post app launch. And you can see the post app launch right down here is basically everything else besides the home screen, the spotlight which is a springboard, the multitasking switcher, and notification banners. If you disable something and keep post app launch on, it will lock the app nevertheless. So let's jump back here and right here you can actually set up folder locking. Now one thing I did notice if you enable folder locking, what you want to do is make sure that it is case sensitive because you'll see if I can tap right here and we'll change this I just to a lowercase I and now when I go out and I try to open this up, it opens up just fine. So this is case sensitive so make sure you keep that in mind when you're trying to lock your folders. Now I gotta type in my password right here Okay, so that was auto launch right there. All right, so let's go back and we'll change this up. All right, so let's go back and here's where you can reset your password phrase. If you want a password phrase, then you can do that and then type in your password phrase right there. But I'm not gonna do that in this video. Also down here in more, you have layout locking, which obviously will lock the home screen icon layout. So you cannot actually go into wiggle mode. Also down here you have disable app locker on certain Wi-Fi if you want to set that up as well as disable photos and camera. You have a kill switch for enabling or disabling that. So now let's get on to the good part where we can actually try to open up an application. You can see that it's locked. So now all you want to do is scan your finger and you'll see that it automatically opens right up. So you can also obviously type in the password but that's not very much fun especially if you have an iPhone 5S. So just opening it up really easy just like that, it's really cool. Also another thing to keep in mind, if you're opening up an app with the Touch ID sensor, your finger does have to be saved to the Touch ID in the settings. If you use a different finger, you'll see that not only does it not unlock the device, but it doesn't even give you a failed attempt. So just keep that in mind. Also, like I said earlier, the folders are case sensitive, so you'll see here when I tap on this, it's actually going to be locked because I changed that I to a capital I. So a cool tweak, and especially if you're looking for a little more security on your device, then check out AppLocker. It has a lot of features to mess around with. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time, peace.